My name is Ellis Wolf. I do visual and I do tattooing. Uh, my style is retro, but at the same time realistic. Um, I do a lot of realism pieces, um, but I try to incorporate a lot of my, um, I guess, visionary touch on it, I guess you could say. Um, I like to see something and then put imaginary touch on it just so it can actually be on the realm of visualizing something or something that you dream. I started with um, doing shoes, you know, being up north, you know, we really did custom joints, so ended up, when I came down here to Atlanta, I really started doing a lot of, I guess, drawing, you know, everybody started with Dragon Ball Z, and ended up, um, I started doing painting maybe like two years ago, and from the painting, um, people always loved my stuff, I always did logos or, you know, sample tattoos for people, so ended up, um, I started doing tattoos like maybe a few months ago, and people still love to work, um, I got a few people, you know, from New York coming down, um, you know, always showing love. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's a good experience, and it's just like growth. You know, it's more than just putting skin to ink, you know. It's actually like a, a spiritual thing, you know. Just like um, I started doing yoga just on this, like, platform. It's just, you know, more, more truth than just, you know, putting something out. Next thing is, after finishing school, um, I want to actually have my own tattoo shop. Um, you know, inspiration came from Black Ink, you know, because the thing is, a lot of businesses, especially tattooing, it's not black-owned or it's not promoted in a positive way or a positive manner. You know, even though, um, you know, the stereotypes are here, we can show that, you know, that's not what it is. You know, we're not that. Um, people got different characteristics, people got different, you know, motives, and dealing with art, you can show that, you know, especially like the love for the art instead of for the money, you know, that's where that, you know, term comes from, you know, it's a deep thought of it, so um, I definitely just want to have a shop, you know, in the next two or three years. Um, I loved it. Um, I missed it last year, especially in saw and it was, you know, from the hometown D.C., you know, I had to, you know, represent for it, and I'm glad that I could be in it today, you know, um, it's a, it's a blessing. It's always opportunities and blessings. That's how you have to look at it. I can honestly say life defines my work. Um, anything, like I could be in class, you know, I think about some things. Like, for example, a few days ago, um, this girl wanted uh, some tattoos of a butterfly. It ended up by me doing a realism. She wanted me to actually place it on placement on her body somewhere else. And I told her I was like to do it on her side so then it could show that the butterflies are flying free. You know, because a lot of freedom comes in, especially like this month, Black History Month. You know, um, I was just talking to one of my friends, you know, I know it's off topic, but um, we was talking about the richest black lady that ever came in, you know, in America. And it was Sarah Rector. You know, a lot of people don't know her, um, but that inspired me to actually be my next painting that I'll do, you know, in the future. My social media that people can find me, Ellis Wolf underscore. Um, website is coming soon in the summertime. And that's it. My name is Ellis Wolf and support creativity.